Let's learn how to find our notes on the bell kit. First, we need to understand how the notes of the bells are organized. We play notes on the bells by striking these metal bars. They're called bars or tone bars. Look at the bars all the way on the left side of your bell kit. You'll notice that the bars are longer. And because they're longer, they're going to make a lower sound. As you move to the right, the bars are getting shorter, and so the notes are going to get higher. So in music, if the notes are going lower, we're going this way on our bells. And if the notes are going higher, we're going this way on our bells. The notes of the bells are organized just like a piano. The top row of bars is like the black keys of the piano, and the bottom row of bars is like the white keys of the piano. This row of bars on our bells are the natural notes, or just the plain musical alphabet. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we go back to A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The notes of our upper row of bars are the flat and sharp notes. If we go all the way to the right, we see a pattern of three, then two, then three, then two, then three. If your bell kit at home doesn't look just like mine here at the bottom, that's okay. Some bell kits, depending on what company makes them, will stop at this note. And so you might only have two notes here at the bottom in the upper row. And that's okay, they just wanted to make their bell kit a little shorter. And we'll learn more about these flat and sharp notes a little bit later. Now that we know how the notes of our bells are organized, we can move on to our next lesson where we'll learn how to play our first three notes.